One thing that I love about Android is just how customizable you can make your device, right down to the input of the text. Whether you want to type in portrait or whether you want to mix it up and do some things in landscape, Android gives you great ways to customize the look and feel of your keyboard. Hey guys, Michael from Cobber vs Glass, and today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 Android keyboards. Just a quick heads up guys, whenever you download a keyboard from the Play Store, you're going to have to go through a short setup process, so do keep that in mind before kind of jumping in to use the new keyboard straight away. Now the first keyboard we're going to be looking at is a keyboard called FlexKey. Um, now this keyboard is really nice in the fact that it's very minimal and it kind of sticks with what Android is trying to do with the operating system. So it's got a very hollow feel to it like the rest of the operating system and it reminds me very closely of the stock Android keyboard and um, which is definitely a plus side in my opinion and I'll go on to why a little bit later in the video. Now one thing that this app is good for is customization. Now there's not a whole load of options but the one that I do like is look and feel. Now you've got four different color options and three different size options for the keyboard itself. My personal favorite is the sky blue color and I like to have it on small, tiny for me is a bit too small and original is slightly too large in my opinion. Now you can also have invisible keyboard which does work surprisingly well and allows you to see the whole thing that you are trying to text without having a keyboard in the way. So on the whole flex key is definitely a nice keyboard. The next keyboard we're going to be looking at is probably one of the strangest ones and it's called Minim Keyboard. Now this keyboard is very different in the sense that it tries to put everything all on one line along the bottom. So once you go into the settings there's not really a whole load of settings to go through apart from things like the height of the keyboard and you can also change things like the height of the spacebar um, which you may not think is that big a deal but with on screen buttons like you get with the Nexus 5 I have occasionally hit the home button instead of spacebar when using other keyboards so this definitely does come in handy and makes it so that you're not really going to kind of be hitting the wrong button or not being able to do what you want to do with the keyboard. The typing experience itself is very nice, it's got great predictive text which is definitely a good thing because of how small the keyboard is and obviously if there are any words that you get wrong you can just slide across from the top to see the other words that it thinks that you may have wanted to type. Now you can delete and also do a space just by swiping left and right on the keyboard itself. Next up we're going to be looking at SwiftKey which is arguably the most popular keyboard on this list. The setup is very quick and there's some great customised options like for instance changing the colour of the keyboard very quickly and very easily and it's even got a hollow option which I really do like, again reminding me a bit of the stock Android experience and which is definitely good with a keyboard like this that has a lot of options. It's good that there are some things in there that keep it relatively you know, simple. So you've also got options here to resize and change the layout of the keyboard so you can slide the whole thing over to one side for texting with your thumb and you can also change which side you want to have the keyboard on whether it be on the right hand side or you can also change it if you hold on the left hand side as well. So definitely this keyboard is very popular. Now the main thing with this keyboard is definitely going to be the swipe functionality which we're going to get onto in just a second. You've also got some options to resize the keyboard as well going from very very small um, up to a very large keyboard so if you do have really tiny fingers or really big fingers Fingers, then this is definitely going to be the keyboard for you. Now you've also got the option to have a floating keyboard so if you do want to get rid of any space or save space in this case then you can actually move the keyboard around and you can also resize the keyboard as well once it's in this mode which is definitely very nice. The swipe functionality of this keyboard is perfect. You cannot go wrong with SwiftKey if you are a person that prefers to swipe instead of tap to text. So overall SwiftKey is definitely the one for those who like swipe texting. Next up we're going to be looking at TouchPal X. Now the setup for this is a little bit lengthy and there is some options to store things in the cloud that it remembers and things. So there's some things that are a bit unnecessary in my opinion. There's a lot of advertisement within this application itself. Not ads to get you to buy other things but just to get additional features and things. Now in the settings there's not a huge uh, bunch of customizable features. You can move the keyboard, you can resize the keyboard. But the one thing that I don't like is it doesn't the aspect ratio so if you do make the keyboard over to one side of the screen it's not going to shrink it down it's going to look all stretched out of proportion which isn't necessarily the best thing in my opinion when you want to kind of use the keyboard now you can change the system font of the keyboard itself for either the touchpad x or the default for your phone and you've also got the option to add a picture to the keyboard now most people would say that this is quite a nice feature but 
really overall, if you look at the way that it's done, the keyboard is quite hard to read once you've got a picture on it itself. So if you look here, I've got a picture on the keyboard. Obviously, you can side up to get to the emoji cons. But overall, the keyboard is nice. If you do want some customizable features, and if you do want to have your own custom keyboard in the sense that you can put any picture you want behind the keyboard, then this is definitely the one for you. Now, like I mentioned, you can resize the keyboard once you are in an application as well. The typing experience is good, and there is also a dedicated tweet button. Now, unfortunately, this isn't customizable, so you can't change it for Facebook and Google Plus or anything like that. But overall, the keyboard is nice, and if you are someone that wants to customize your keyboard quite heavily, then this may be the option for you guys. Now, if you are going to be playing around with different keyboards and things, you may want to know how to customize them. On a Nexus, you go into the settings, onto language and input, and you can then select which keyboard it is that you want to use. Now, for other Android devices, it may be slightly different, but the main thing that you want to look for is the input method of your phone, and then you can just tick or untick whichever keyboard it is that you guys want to be using. Now the final keyboard that we're going to be looking at is the default keyboard for a Nexus device, but it is also available on the Google Play Store, and that is the stock Google keyboard. Now in my opinion, this is one of the best keyboards just for the speed of the keyboard. The fact it's got swipe built in is very nice as well. Now you don't get any gestures for deleting or anything like that because of the fact that it is a swipe keyboard, but overall I don't really think that you can go wrong with the Google keyboard. So guys, if you did like this video, then do leave a comment down below of your favorite keyboard that I've mentioned within this video and if you've got any other keyboards that I haven't mentioned then again do leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to reply to as many as I can. Now as always if you do want to keep up to date with the content that we're giving from Copper vs Glass then you can hit us up on Twitter which is just going to be very simple it's at Copper vs Glass and also don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass and this has been my top 5 Android keyboards. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys in the next one.